So Timex is just one of those brands that I just like a lot, just in terms of what they offer. Great looking watches for affordable prices. But on top of that, they're also a brand with a great amount of history. And all of this said brings us to our video for today. And what's going on everybody? My name is Teddy Baldassar, and we're gonna be looking at one of my favorite watches that Timex has ever produced, the Timex Marlin. And this specific version is the Timex Marlin Blackout Edition. Really excited to go through this watch. This is gonna watch that we're gonna be giving away on the channel in the future. So if you wanna have a chance to win this watch, fill out the form. We're gonna be announcing the winner very shortly on my Instagram. But guys, let's jump into the review. So first, before we jump into the review of this watch, let's take a brief look at Timex and the Marlins history. Timex was founded in 1854, first as the Waterbury Clock Company. The company began with a mission that still rings true today, bringing the great watch designs being imported from Europe to the masses in the States at accessible prices. And after many years of ups and downs and changes in ownership, the company finally changed its name following World War II, the brand that we have come to know today. Timex. Timex watches gradually became known for their reliability and superior design. However, what made Timex unique was their ability to get to the consumer without marking up their watches. They did this by selling into convenience stores, drug stores, and other unique avenues of sales. And it led to the company reaching 70 million in sales by the early 1960s. A big contributor to this was a watch that comes in in a small package by today's standards, the Timex Marlin. And with its reissue in 2017, that brings us to today's review. The Timex Marlin was reissued with a traditional looking silver dial that many would have seen back in the day. However, this Timex Marlin Blackout Edition is a piece that I think is even classier looking. This Blackout Edition is an exclusive partnership with Todd Snyder and Timex. However, now let's look at the specs of the watch. It comes in with a traditional size case as it would back in the 1960s, coming in with a 34 millimeter case diameter and has a lug to lug height of 42.3 millimeters. So yes, it is a very small watch. However, it is still suitable on many wrists. And I think anyone with the wrist under 7.5 inches could have a lot of fun with this piece. The height of the case is just over 10 millimeters as a result of its beautifully domed mineral crystal that really gives this watch a level of depth. The lug width is 18 millimeters, so you will have a lot of options for straps. And speaking of this, this watch I have found does very well with different straps. I think the silver dial version is definitely more versatile in this department. However, this blackout version is no slouch as well. However, for me, the star of the show here is the glossy black dial. On the dial, you will see a great bit of reflection that really makes this watch pop a bit more on the wrist despite its smaller size, as well as having some really cool retro indices that just really cater to that Americana aesthetic that I have really come to love. Now for the movement. This watch is mechanically powered just as it was back in the day. So it is a hand winding movement and really is staying true to the form as it did many years ago. The Timex box marked that this movement is a Chinese movement, which I really don't care. I think there's a lot of unnecessary amount of fear that people have when they see the words made in China that I think is completely overrated. So what is my verdict of this watch? For me, when looking at this watch, I honestly kind of get mad because I seriously don't know why Timex did not reissue this watch sooner. With this watch, Timex and Todd Snyder managed to deliver a piece that speaks to the company's deep roots in watchmaking with classic and retro style at a price point of $200. In short, I think if I had to pick one mechanical hand winding dress piece under $200 that would also double as a watch that easily can be dressed down, I think this watch might be my choice. So guys, what do you think of this Timex Marlin? Are you more in favor of this black dial version or the silver dial version? And what do you think com this compared to maybe the ones that you would see back in the 1960s? Love to see comments down below. Again, if you wanna join the giveaway for this, be sure to follow me on Instagram, fill out the form down below. Also be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, also hit that bell icon if you have not done that yet. And then in addition to that, check out our Patreon. All that will support this new generation of watch lovers that we're really trying to foster up here with content on this channel. Well guys, we'll be announcing this winner very soon for this watch. So stay tuned on Instagram, I'll have updates there. So guys, until next time, be well, and I will see you all very soon.